Would you mind turning your heads? Okay, I'll turn my head. Pale face. Pale all over. Except for Mark of Half Moon. Mm -hmm. See you later. Hmm? Hey, look here, boy. Dusty, Where, where's, where's Dusty? Well, I don't know. He's probably out there wandering around wandering someplace. Wandering around? You think Freckle threw him? Yeah, well, he went out there to set some traps. We've been a little low on provisions, you know, and if I know Dusty, he probably got caught in one of his own traps. Poor Dusty. Now, don't worry about it. We'll organize a search party and go out and get him without freckles. He can't be very far away. Hey, you gonna show us where he is, old buddy, huh? Yeah, sure, sure. Many moons have I waited for this moment. Great chief, remember tribal saying, hope may stand tall, but disappointment stands taller. <laughs> Listen, what's going on here? I was taking a bath and all of a sudden two of your braves... Silence. Before you stand chief of all monies, full moon. Oh, well, howdy, Mr. Moon. <laughs> Uh, listen, my friends are expecting me to bring back provisions. I gotta be going. <laughs> you not know why you're here? Sure I know why I'm here. Two of your braves grabbed me when I was skinny dipping. Skinny, the only way you can dip, skinny. <laughs> Tell him. Many moons ago, Chief had baby son. Then, in famous battle of Antelope Horn, baby disappeared. Gee, that's really a shame. Chief sad. Not sleep, not eat. But always think one day, son will return. How would you recognize him? Very simple. That wouldn't help. Most kids are very simple. I mean, very simple for full moon to recognize sun. Papus get burned by ash from campfire. Half mark in shape of half moon. Oh, Mark, in the shape of half moon. Where? On back. You mean here? More down. You here? More down. More down, you mean? Half moon on sit him down, please. So long, fellas. <laughs> Show chief. What do you mean? Take off my underwear and everything? Open the rear door. <laughs> you have ash mark. Yeah, but I got mine a different way. How? How? Oh, you mean how I got that scar? You see, I was just a little baby, and all of a sudden I just have. Son! Daddy? <laughs> Dusty starts. Yeah, he must have stopped here to wash off the trail dust. You, you don't think he... he, he what, drowned? Now he couldn't even swim. He wouldn't go over his knees. Besides, that's not deep enough. Yeah. Horses, two of them. One of them carrying double. Indians? Yeah, only tribe around here is Monies, and they're friendly. I don't understand it. We better go back and tell the others. All right, but be careful. Because Dusty's been out there setting traps, and if there's one thing Dusty knows how to do... Yeah? ...is setting traps. <laughs> You're telling me? As soon as we get out of this mess, we go in the Monty camp and hold Dusty out of there. Meantime, <laughs> just hang around here if somebody comes and rescue us. I'm so embarrassed I could die. What if somebody sees me? Who'll recognize you? No one can see your face. Oh. Daphne! How is it just cut? Stays in place. I'm a Brookhaven. Me, the long-lost son of the chief? That's loco. Prepare him. What? Prepare him. Hey, I don't need a bib. You know, I just don't need one. Don't put that thing on. That's a pretty low bib. <laughs> Look, I've been a pale face all my life. Honest. I ask you, do I look like an Indian? Mark of Half Moon cannot lie. You must take rightful place next in line to Chief. B, 
this half moon, son of full moon, chief of all mornings. <laughs> Have no fear, my son. This is whoop of welcome. Whoopee. Where is Pale Cloud? <laughs> my son, this is Pale Cloud. Someday, she will be your bride. You promised to her when both are papooses. Pale Cloud rejoices at safe return of beloved. We will wed when the corn is green and make love when the corn is ripe. Well, I guess I'll stick around till harvest time. <laughs> this laugh and crow. How come he's not laughing? <laughs> laugh and crow laugh all the time when he was next in line to chief and promised to peel cloud. Now somebody else take my place. Laugh and crow, why you not welcome my son? If half moon true son, then Laughing Crow have welcome. If he false son, then Laughing Crow have revenge. Show him. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> See, mark of half moon. Maybe mark come off. Now listen, Laughing Tree. Crow. Crow. <laughs> Skin come off, but not mark. <laughs> My son is true son. Is that not true son? Well, sure as my name is Half Moon. <laughs> Dusty must be in there someplace. Let's go, Mr. Callahan. Yeah, he must be one of those teepees. I'll sneak in there and have a look. And if you see any sign of danger, hoot like an owl. Ooh, ooh. Hey, that's a good eye. <laughs> One day, my son, all of this will be yours. Imagine that. Me, the son of an Indian chief. It could only happen in America. <laughs> Great chief, I've captured two pale faces, cop spying on camp. You see, half moon, money, every worry. Nah, you gotta watch out for them pale faces all the time. Dusty! My name is Half Moon. Who are you trying to kill? What are you doing in that getup? Tell him, Dad. Him, Half Moon, long lost son of full moon. Next in line to chief. Dusty, a morning Indian? If he's a morning, I'm Pocahontas. He has mark of half moon on sit him down, please. Shoot him. Enough, enough. I, they've already seen it anyway. Great chief, how we deal with pale faces caught spying? My son, now it's time to show leadership. Very wise, chief of all monies. You will decide faith of pale faces. Well, they seem like a decent sort. Let him go. <laughs> Set him free? As a gesture of goodwill and in celebration of my return to my father's land. Wisdom passed down from father to son. <laughs> I'll never get used to that. Dusty, what about the wagon train? Oh, yeah. I mean, we need your little pal. You do, really? Yeah, I mean, who's going to, you know, collect the firewood and do the cooking and take down the laundry and repair the harness and feed and water the horses? Westward hole, pale face. <laughs> I tell you, you got the wrong guy. Dusty is not Full Moon's son. He was born in Schenectady. How many Indians do you know who were born in Schenectady? Many. Schenectady is Indian wood. Means end of trail. Why couldn't I have said Philadelphia? <laughs> Half Moon has been proclaimed son of chief. Well, then unproclaim him. I'm telling you, he is not an Indian. He is an imposter. If Half Moon is imposter, he will be dealt with according to tribal custom for imposters. Oh, you sure you want to do this, Mr. Callahan? You uh, anything to save my little pal. Here, Andy. You put that coal up on the barrel. I don't want to see what I'm doing. All right. <laughs> uh, make sure that coal is shaped like a half moon. I got it. 
Looks just like the half moon on Dusty. Yeah, well, I figure the same half moon in the same place on a couple of felons be just enough to confuse those Indians. I know the Dusty do, same for me. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's Barge. Well, that took a lot of courage. Thank you. Yeah. Say, which side is Dusty's half moon on? Well, the last time we went swimming, it was on the... Uh... Gosh. I don't remember. Well, I sat down on the right side. I mean, supposing the right side's the wrong side and the left side's the right side. I see what you mean. I mean, if we're going to establish some doubt in Full Moon's mind about Dusty being his son, you... We might need another volunteer. You mean, uh... <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Be seated. <laughs> My dear, you're late for tea. Well, I, I, I'm sorry about that. But I've just uh, witnessed the most amazing event. I couldn't believe my eyes. I hesitate to tell you about Mr. Callahan and Andy. Oh, please, Carter. But you're such a, a cultured person, so very delicate. Oh, dear. One hears so very little gossip these days. Oh, very well. Close your eyes. Mr. Callahan. I dare say they were giving their all for their friend. Honest what? <laughs> Andy, too? Wow, my God, the chief didn't have a daughter. <laughs> What devotion! What blisters! Half Moon! Half Moon, why are you not out hunting and fishing? Of course, it's more fun sipping and swinging. Oh. Are you sure, Half Moon, my son? You saw Ashmark? All tribes saw Ashmark. Are you sure, Half Moon, my son? <laughs> Oh, hey, Laughing Bird. Crow. Crow, you dropped your spear. This challenge. How dare you challenge a son of a chief? If you are true son of chief, then son must be able to defeat any man in tribe. Any man? I choose him. Not him, me. Go ahead, Half Moon. Contest will prove you are my son. Or false imposter. approach them. Very tenderly. <laughs> like we're riding. <laughs> uh, it's too bad we couldn't have walked. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> I, oh, pardon me. But we got something to show you. No time now. Race about to start. What, what race? Laughing crew challenge, son of chief. This will prove if he is imposter. Yeah. Go back and get the others. Hurry. Yeah. <laughs> Foot race to be run over course, marked with arrows. May the best brave win. Wish you good luck too, my son. <laughs> Ready for race? Thank goodness. Our butler isn't here to see us doing this manual labor. Well, if he were here, dear, we wouldn't be doing it. Oh. <laughs> On your mark. Get set. You dropped your rattle. That rattle is signal for race to start. <laughs> Come 
What are you doing like that, laughing? Crow. Crow. Hey, there's no way I'll point him like that. Here, let me help you down, huh? Oh, good show. What a sportsman. What a junkhead. <clears throat> Well, at least you got to done with say thanks. Here's my true son. Now for second part of test. Second? The Wooji, Chicha Bombay. Now, second and final part of contest. Wrestle beer and bring back skin. Supposing I got no skin left. Not your skin. Bring back bear skin. What about him? He wrestled beer after you. You lose? Laughing crew, not have to fight. May best bear win. <laughs> How long do you have to wait for a bear to show up? Not long. <laughs> Okay, little pal. Huh? Don't you recognize my voice? Oh, my gosh, the berry, Mr. Callahan. <laughs> oh, you dirty, rotten bear. You know, you're only supposed to eat berries and honey. I, I, maybe bear is sick. <laughs> I got him. Oh, I don't have him. Hey, cut it out, pal. I'm Callahan. Well, the voice is familiar, but I don't recognize the fur. Dusty, I'm not a real bear. I'm Callahan. Where did you get the bear skin? It's Mr. Brookhaven's, one of his prize trophies. Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. <laughs> Start fighting. They're looking at us. <laughs> he, not you. Okay, Dusty, knock me down and make it look good. Half Moon have defeated Bear. Then Half Moon must be true, son. What do you say we make it two out of three? No, Dusty, no, no, no. no. <laughs> See? Now Bear's imposter. Half Moon cheat. <laughs> Nice young man, now go on. <laughs> Half moon not past death. Half moon, not true son. Half moon imposter. Now we treat imposter in tribal manner. And friends of imposter are now not set free. Hey, chief, why don't you just take me and let all the rest of them go, huh? Full moon, let all go. It is gratitude for proving Skinny is not my son. <laughs> it's a glorious day for tribal history. Set them all free. I don't know how to thank all of you folks. Hey, 
Welcome back, little pal. <laughs> Let me tell you, Mr. Callahan, having a half moon scar in your sit him down place can get you in a lot of trouble. You're lucky you don't have one. <laughs> Dusty, I hate to call this to your attention, but the coffee is boiling over. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. oh sorry, Mr. Callahan. Well, sorry ain't gonna get it. Now, first of all, you clean up that mess. Then you got the dishes to do, horses to water and feed, the Brookhaven coach to clean out, and pick up the laundry. Now get hopping. Boy, it sure wasn't that way when I was the son of an Indian chief. <laughs> That's the way it was. Oh.